Good morning, you guys. Mr. Juan is here. Hello. And I, I can't believe he texted me yesterday and was like, "Hey, man, I'm going to pull your uh, your harness for your car." I was like, "What? Like that's super nice. Like it was, it was really cool." So he saved us a lot of time by already going out there and pulling that harness. See here, we've got it. And right now he's actually just going through and checking out the old one, see what we've already got in there. But the whole idea behind this is that this harness here that he just picked up is going to be complete and ready for the B7. It's already got the four wire O2 on it, so we don't have to splice anything. And Juan's thought is that this is just gonna connect up to the ECU that I already have perfectly. Uh, that it will just, um, all the pins will be there and we should get past the 5500 rev limit. He's saying he actually ex experienced a similar problem in his CRX where he had to change out a wire harness and everything just started working better once he did that. Um, so that's the plan. We're gonna get to changing that out and uh, hope for the best. Last week, we realized that, um, and that's why we're trying this, we realized that some of the cables coming from the ECU to the harness were not matching the engine harness on this car. So that's why we came up with the idea that maybe this harness is from a different EG model and it's the wrong one for this for the O2 and for this motor. So that's why we picked up this one here and we just realized before we start any this work. This is the new harness that this, Juan just got. Right. That um, the, the, the colors coming from this side are actually matching our harness that we got here. For example, this black and orange cable, you can see it here. That's actually from the O2. And it was one of the ones that was giving us a lot of issue. If you look here, it's actually orange and black. And now we're going to have a matching connection right. from the ECU to the computer. So that one's already on the car existing. The one that Juan picked up is already looking better. So that's why he's saying he's getting so excited about that. Yeah. This orange and black here that you see on this guy is not on the original. Right. As you, you see, see it's right actually there. blocked off because this harness was a one wire O2 sensor. So actually the O2 sensors cables on this harness were plugged off because obviously Honda didn't require them for whatever harness this came off of. But for this engine and this setup now, we do need all those cables and if we can get this to work, it will be the OEM way and then we don't have to cut anything or make anything up. And that's hopefully the way that's gonna happen. Yeah. Okay, so you want these just taken off? Yeah, just unplug them. We just gotta unplug pretty much everything. I need to get the finger shredders going today. Yeah, they're, um, you know how to open these up, right? Like they have this, that little clip on the top. A little clip here, then they just separate. Yeah. They're a little pain. Uh, just like the ECU. Yeah. Pain yeah. nuts too. Got the coolant temperature oh, yeah. sensor, all these little wires right down here. We were just comparing them to the new harness right over here. And we are looking good so far. Progress. The harness is getting ready to come out. Player over here. Here is the new harness, and that's the one that came out of the car. And just kind of taking a look at what is what now, comparing them. This is the map and the, what yeah. is it, the idol. Yeah, they just did it like 
like here is in this one where there's this one that's two different plugs. See how like it breaks up here? Right. But here it breaks up here. Oh, that's a good point. And then you have, so it's definitely for another manifold. It, it looks like the speed sensor they must have grabbed another. It's not a different car. Yeah. And this guy doesn't exist on yours, right? And that was. Looks like it's this one. Well, look how it's branching off of these. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because this is the map sensor. Like anything, there's always a hiccup. And we've got the harnesses out. They are here on the floor, you've already seen. And we've started to really notice the main difference. And the main difference between these two harnesses that we can tell is with the map sensor and what is it, the idle air control? I believe so, yeah. The idle air control the sensor. Two, uh, the two sensors that are on the throttle body, they're usually three wires. Uh, we have two plugs that go to it on the current harness that we just took off. But in our harness, we only have one plug that has three wires that looks like a map sensor. So that's where we having a little bit of a hiccup right now. Right, so the throttle body that I have on the car right now uh, and with the map sensor on it, it's not currently looking like it's gonna connect up with this harness that we're gonna be putting on the car. But the harness that we're gonna be putting on the car is the correct one. Juan pulled this off of a B7. So that is what I need. For your ECU setup now. For my ECU setup. And even for when we do a swap, right? right. Like We're trying to think ahead as well, because um, this is something that we're definitely gonna need to do before we do a B-series swap in there. Just same way that, the same way that we took it, took it out. I run it on your face yeah. first. Oh yeah, it was possible. Yeah, I agree. As the story continues, <laughs> We have these three wire harnesses on the ground. You see one, one looks like a kid playing with his Legos over there. I'm trying to make sense of this Lego, yeah. Essentially what it comes down to is the manifold on the car is just fine. Um, the wire harness that Juan picked up, for some reason, does not have a map sensor, right? Right. It has a throttle position sensor and not a map, and we don't understand why. Like, here's the throttle or the uh, yeah throttle position sensor, and what should be the map sensor next to it. But you see, the the connections on the map and the throttle position are the same, and these two are clearly different. And it's the same thing on the harness that Juan's cutting into now, but on the harness. Sorry, trying to find what I'm looking for here. On the harness that I already had. These are the throttle position and map sensor plugs. You see that they are the same. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. See, they are the same. Essentially what we've come to is that even though Juan did a super nice gesture in going to get this harness, it still isn't gonna work for us. We need to go back out to the junkyard, find a harness that is gonna have the throttle position and map sensor, of course, and then everything else should just and plug up. And the four, four wire O2. And the four wire O2. The whole reason we started doing this in the first place. The four wire O2 needs to be there, throttle position and map sensor and everything else should just plug up fine. Because this other harness, we plugged it up just fine. But then when we went to plug in the map sensor, we were like, uh, that needs to happen. And then, I don't know, I feel pretty confident that once that does happen, this thing is gonna turn on and rev up to 65. Uh, do you think we yeah, should that harness? I, I think so too. I mean, we, after trying and, you know, getting fail here, fail that. I mean, we're, we're, we do feel that we are moving forward because we are understanding a lot more of it. Right. And uh, like I told Robbie earlier, we're clean, pretty much cleaning up somebody's right now. So pretty much. After somebody and finding out what they did and what we need to do to get the car running correctly. So I think as far as that, I think we are making progress. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah no, we're, we're definitely making progress. So yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, see what you see next. All right, good morning, you guys. So day two, 
And uh, Mr. Juan is back over here. Such a nice guy, man. He, he, he comes over and helps, and I already told him, you know, that, that won't go forgotten. I really appreciate his help. Um, so anyway, what we found out is, well, first off, let me say, I know this episode may seem all over the place because we've been trying to figure this stuff out as we go. And I'm leaving these clips in because I want you guys to see that this is a real process. Uh, not everything just happens and like, oh, we got the wire harness, we put it in, oh, hey, it works, great. Like, that's not the way it works in the real world. And we, like I've said before, neither of us are mechanics, but we are learning. And through the help of the forums, through knowledge from friends, especially Dusan, thank you very much, man. <laughs> we are learning. And essentially what we have come up with is that for the 92 to 95 Civic years, there are of course the different models, CX, DX, ZX, LX, but the wiring harnesses for these cars are very different. There are a couple different versions, and we didn't know that at first. Um, a big thing that we came across when we put the new wire harness in that Juan got for me, the map sensor wasn't there. Like, we were like, what is happening? Like, it, it didn't look like there was a map sensor. There was a throttle position, but we didn't see where the map sensor was. So we kept thinking like, oh, maybe someone cut it. Uh, he had another wire harness that you saw him working on uh, that we thought it was cut on that one too. And we're like, this just seems so weird because it didn't look cut. So like I said, through the help of his friend Dusan and my friend too, I mean, Dusan, seriously, dude, thank you. <laughs> he let us know that there are these couple different wire harnesses. And the one that we're working with has the map sensor that was supposed to be on the firewall of a car. Of the car. Of a, of what was it, a DX? DX, yeah. On a DX, the, fire, the map sensor was actually attached to the firewall, and it looks like a, a hose runs to the intake manifold from there. So we didn't know that, we just found that out. One that's in the car this map sensor is actually sitting on top of the intake manifold. Like Juan said yesterday, we're kind of cleaning up someone else's crap. Like, this is what they had done before, and we're finding it out. You know, no one was sitting here telling us, oh, we did this, we did this, we did this. We're finding it out as we go. So, the map sensor is on top of the intake manifold. What Juan is doing right now, and I'm gonna get ready to help him do, is feed in that uh, wire harness again that he had bought for me uh, the other day. And we're actually gonna run the map sensor direct to the ECU. So leaving it on top of the intake manifold, not part of the harness, we're just gonna run wires straight to the ECU. So let's get into that. Thanks for sticking around, guys. map sensor from the harness that was already in the car. So this is from a Civic EG that comes with the map sensor as part of the harness compared to other models and years that are behind the three big plugs on the passenger side. So we already have the new harness in there that when we got from the junkyard. So we're gonna go ahead and cut. As, I'm gonna try to get as much wire uh, that I can. So then let's try to make it as clean as OEM as possible. And then we're just gonna run the three pins into the straight to the ECU from the firewall and then we should be able to fire it up and hopefully everything works out great and we'll be on our way to the firm but we yes, gotta do this first. The firm. How was it? All right. What gauge was it then? I think it was eight. Eight, yeah, very thin. Dewan is just uh, tying these together. We're just gonna use some electrical tape for right now to uh, connect it up. Once we make sure everything's working, then we'll go ahead and solder the connections. 
So there's the top mounted map sensor. Follow the line, you Mr. One. <laughs> and then we're gonna be running through this hole down in here, straight through the firewall, into the cabin, to the ECU. All right, so the map sensor on, we got all the wires. Just loose in the bay right now, like I said, still with the tape. We'll solder them once we know it works. They are gonna be running down through the hole right there. And Juan right now is messing with this old harness. He's taking the pins out, and we're gonna actually connect that to the end of the black wire to be able to run into the ECU. The reason why we're using these pins and stuff is just so we don't have to cut any more than we want, than we need. So we'll be able to, without having to cut anything, just kind of move these pins around and hope, you know, hopefully find the right way. Right. But if we do have, if we do make a mistake or anything, it's easy to clean up. There's no cuts here or anything like that. So we're just trying to do this as, as clean as possible. Can you pull that yellow one, that's all that yellow? Nope. Nope. Everything is wired up. Um, ECU looking good. Well, it's got a light going. Wires run through. Got the key. Better give it a start, man. It sounds like it's running fine, but the check engine lights on. So we'll go ahead and look and see what that is. All right, so the check engine code was still throwing the O2. So we went and I have this other O2. We just changed it out. See the other one just dangling here still for right now. We're gonna fire up the car again. All right, so one more time. Here we go. Oh, oh, you bitch. Oh. oh wait, the, the clip is oh, in. Oh, the clip is in. But it's doing kind of Yeah, let's do something. Turn it off. Take two. Take two. Um, alright. Let's take the code. Ah! F***ing wire harness. Same code! Same code! Wet and wine drive the car. It's really disappointing at the moment. You guys are still revving to 55. I don't even know what to say about that at the minute, but you know, Juan and I are having fun in the car, and I think that's just it, man. At the moment, it may just be what it's gonna be going to the firm. I have a lot of fun driving the car as it is. You see how it starts to. Yeah. Uh, there you go. The car doesn't like me because Mr. Robbie here gets in the car and all of a sudden we're going to... I don't get it! <laughs> our, the RPMs just went up. So uh, we're going to keep driving around see if he keeps doing it. And maybe once it warms up, I don't know. Like at this right. point, I'm, I'm lost uh, in the in the OBD1 world. <laughs> oh, so it went up? It, went, it just went up twice. I even felt it when I stepped on it. I'm like, dude, it, was it feels like different. Felt strong? It felt strong. sensor still in there and here is my new one 
See, the connection is such that it actually fits a 95 uh, DX uh, wiring harness. That's what this connection is down here. And that's what I've already got in the car right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up. Gotta remember to reconnect the old battery so that the ECU resets. Tighten that down. All right, you guys, moment of truth. code being thrown is still the O2 sensor. Um, I don't even know what to say about it, man. That's a brand new O2 sensor. We wired in the four wire harness. Um, I'm at a loss right now. Um, so if y'all have any suggestions, I sure would appreciate it. Uh, of course, I'm gonna be doing my own research and everything, but uh, you know, comment below, let me know if you have a suggestion. The weird thing about it is the car still will rev up to the 6500. So, Solving the O2 sensor was kind of just a moral thing, you know, like I just want it to work properly. The car is still revving up to 65, but I want that check engine light to go away, man. I only want it there if there truly is something else wrong with the engine. It's there for now. Uh, this is going to conclude this episode. Really, I think what you're going to be seeing next from me is out at the firm. Uh, Travis has a couple episodes coming up where he did some really cool uh, upgrades to Project Civic, his coupe. Uh, so you're going to be seeing those videos for the next two weeks or maybe even longer. And then you're going to start seeing some of our track day videos. And we got our helmet cams and everything for that day. So I hope you all are looking forward to that. I sure am. I know Travis is. Our friend Juan is going to be out there. It's going to be a great time. So really looking forward to that. Um, yeah, we're going to see what this car can do. Uh, please wish me luck, you guys. And uh, yeah, be talking to you in the comments. Bye.